The yellowfin tuna can be found from New England to South Florida and also Bermuda. The yellowfin is great for sushi. As a food value, it's one of the best. The second dorsal fins are elongated and illuminated, a feature not found on any other tuna. The smaller yellow fin back this trademark and are difficult to distinguish from the big eye and black fin tuna of the same size. They school in like sizes from a few pounds to 60 to 100 pounds. The world record is 388 pounds, 12 ounces. 50 to 80 pound test tackle is commonly used when fishing for the yellowfin tuna. Most are caught by trolling. Okay, now we're gonna clean this little small yellowfin tuna. This is really some wonderful eating. It's a shame with a fish like this that you lose so much of the actual return in this large head. We're gonna to try to do it as close as we can again and get back maximum return. First thing we wanna do is cut back in a V form and cut into this head. Come back around the fins again. Flip it over. Same thing on the other side. Lay it down. Break it back. Can we just come finish cutting through? Now we're going to show you how to finish cleaning out this yellowfin tuna. We'll start again toward the back. This one has been frozen a couple of days, so we have a nice fish for this presentation. So it's going to be a little tricky, but I think we can do it. We're going to cut through the front side again. Come around up to the center point. Then we're going to turn the fish and come through the back side again. Cut right along the dorsal fin, holding it back, cutting right to the backbone, keeping that index finger on it. Once you get to that top of that vertebrae, you always want to keep that knife rubbing. Come back to the other side. Come on down. Come to the back, stop, turn around, break back through to the other side, and then remove your fillet. Coming down, cut back toward the back. Come on, right on through. All right, we'll come along with, we'll, now we take out these rib bones, come back to the other side. Now we want to come and catch the bones right down the center. They almost go to full length of this fish. Best thing to do is just cut right on through. 
through your skin. Then we'll come back, come right to the inside, cut close. You want to trim out that section right here. Okay. Then we're going to come back and skin it, hold it down toward the tail again. Applying pressure. This is a little easy to do if you cut it length lengthwise. This is a little easier to do if you cut it lengthwise like I just did. Get a nice close skin job again. And now what you want to do is come back and you want to cut off your steaks for grilling. And naturally a larger tuner gives you much better steaks. At this point you want to cut away this dark edge for better flavor.